So let's just put this one to the side. Now here we have the other one. So let's get all this out of the way. This is the one that I'm really um, looking forward to wearing. I do like the look of this. Oh, this is a bit harder. There we go. Exactly the same box. Same everything. I'm not going to bother taking... Oh, well, I'll take it out since I'm sure if you haven't watched the other one. So you get your warranty card. Two-year international warranty card. And then user manual. And the warranty. So, all right, let's put that to the side and have a look at the watch. And there we have it. Ah, oh, this is also on a NATO. I wasn't, I couldn't remember what it was, uh, if it was on a NATO or not. So it's on this grey NATO. I don't know if it's the same NATO as the other one. Is the box exactly the same? Oh, this is a lot harder to get out. There we go. Now I believe this is a 30, is it 36? It actually looks a lot smaller if you compare that to the other one. Let's take this off. Oh wow. I think this one's definitely got anti-reflective coating. You can, it, feel, it looks actually like there's no uh, glass on there at all. I do like that and you can just see the textured finish uh, on the dial, yes, I do like this one a lot better. I'm actually glad I got it. All right, so it comes on this uh, NATO strap again, which I do not like and I will be taking off. Now, I believe this is 18 mil. I don't have any 18 mil straps, so um, I've got one or two, um, which I don't know if it'll suit this watch, but I'll have a look and order some new ones. But I'm going to wear this one first because I think this is the one I'm going to like the most. I ordered this. I basically ordered both together because I got a really good deal. Now, this one retails at £720. Oh, there we go. £720. And this one doesn't have the price on it, but this one retails at, I believe, £395. So I paid for both of them £760, so that's basically almost this one for free, if you're looking at it that way. So this is £720, uh, and I bought both for £760. So I got a, what, almost 36%, no, sorry, 32% discount because I bought both watches. Uh, and I also got a watch travel case, but it actually hasn't turned up in the... in. Um, the packaging, so I'm gonna have to ring them up about that. So, I, I, people always say, oh, you should never buy a brand new watch. You, you get ripped off. The depreciation is, is too much. Now, I these actually work out. What this works out about six hundred pounds. I'll, I'll have a look. I'll show the invoice what it looks like. I think this, this they put this one at six hundred and that at, uh, whatever the rest is. Um, I these are are basically um, second hand value. I've paid for brand new watches. So it's not always the case of buying a second-hand watch where you're going to get the best deal. Um, if you if you haggle them down, you can get them to a really good price, obviously. So a second-hand one of this is around about £600, and a second-hand one of these, I believe they're still quite high. They're around in the... 325s-ish, so they're still quite expensive. I think they're they're all they're not not exactly watches which are um, not uh, wanted. So they're discounting them heavily. Um, these are quite uh, quite popular. Yeah, I really don't like. Oh, there we go. I really don't like the uh, the NATO strap. It and this has got really thick rings as well. Now that's going to stand out a lot. Let me just put it on. And it's got. I just, why? Why do they need to? Yeah, I understand why. I, I said when I when I opened this one, it protects the holes, yes, but it just looks ugly, I think. And they have this leather bit here. I would have just preferred them not to do that. But I'm going to change this for a leather strap. Um, I'm trying to think of a strap that I've got. My Tag Heuer one would probably fit this one. And then it goes there. Yeah, so if you see, it just, yeah, it just doesn't, doesn't sit right with me. I don't like it. I don't like this bulky bit here, and look there, where you have it, and it sits a lot higher up. 
But in terms of the watch itself, oh yeah, I do like this watch. I'm really pleased with this one. This one I'm a bit sort of, eh, okay. But yeah, this one I'm very happy with. Um, yeah, no anti-reflective. It's quite hard to see it from this angle. This one just looks like there's no crystal on there whatsoever. Um, I like the polished hands on this. This has got white hands. Yeah, this one just, yeah, obviously this one's twice as expensive as well. All right, so I'm going to wear this one for the next week or so. And then I'll swap over to this one. So I'm, I'll wear this, make a video, and then swap it over to this one and see what's what. And then I'll change the straps as well.